What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. And today I'm going to show you how to draw a princess. Now, a princess is a fully fledged character design. And when you're drawing any kind of character, typically a human character, the first thing you want to start out with is the pose. So as you can see on my page here, I have my head drawn already and it's at a specific position. And then I have a series of lines here that would make my figure look like a stick figure. And I have this drawn as a stick figure so that way I can figure out the position of the arms, the legs, the body, and everything else. And that's the first thing you're going to need when drawing any human character. Because if you don't have anything like this on your page already before you go to draw a human character and you go to draw it anyway, you'll be making a lot of last minute decisions on yourself on the movement of the legs, the movement of the arms, what the hands would look like, all that stuff you need to develop before you draw your human character because that will result in a million mistakes. And prior to making this video, I drew the stick figure plus the head so that way I can just get started right away. But for this video, since I already have my face drawn already, if you do want to learn how to draw the face, I got a whole playlist full of my how to draw face videos, which will pop up right here in the card. And in that playlist, I have videos on how to draw the face at a front view, a profile view, three quarter view, and even back three quarter view. So check that playlist out if you want to learn how to draw the face. But with that being said, we can then get started. Okay, so starting off at the face, I'm going to first begin by drawing the eyes. And when I draw the eyes, I like to have them being the shape of a top bun of a hamburger. So they're going to look like that. And then I'm just going to draw in some irises inside the eyes. Then some pupils. Like that. And then I like to have... And then when drawing the eyes on a female... I like to have it being thick around the arch and then coming off of the arch will be like a piece of mascara that's going to look somewhat like a brush stroke and that's what I like to do when I'm drawing female characters specifically female eyes I'll do the same thing on the other side like that give it a little stylish look and then, just gonna add some eyebrows. Draw those in. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw the nose right here where these two center lines intersect. And then, I don't want this princess to be evil, so I'm just going to fix the eyebrows a little bit. Okay, and then add a little bit more style by um, making a pearl earring. Just a little circle on the ear. And then I'm just going to draw in like a like a hairstyle for my princess um, you can do this um, with any hairstyle if you want if you're using reference images you can use that too but I have like my iPad right here with my plan for drawing a princess and I'm just gonna show you my plan by drawing it here specifically for the hairstyle and maybe whatever else so that's the princess here just have a couple of hairs coming off of the side. Little curls. Like that. Then make it into a ponytail. Add like a little band or whatever this is up here. And make a giant ponytail coming off of the back. OK, 
Okay, so that's the face already. And now just below the face is the neck. And in my plan, I have just a little collar with like a little jewel on it. So I'm just gonna draw that in really quickly. And yeah, that's the princess hair and head. So let me transition down so I can show you guys how to draw the torso. So I do have videos on drawing the torso, but I'm gonna show you in this video too. So you see this little circle that I drew here? That's meant to be the shoulders. And right off of the shoulders, I'm gonna begin to draw like a little breast. Like so, that's one breast. And then the other one would be over here. And then we can uh, finish the torso. So this kind of makes an S curve in a way. Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna do a bigger one on the other side. Like that. And then from the neck, we can begin to draw the shoulders. And when we draw the shoulders, we can work around this little shoulder joint up here, this little circle. And then we can work around this other circle that's down here. That's for the elbow. Work around that too. And then make another line like this for the forearm. And then right off of this joint, the elbow joint, we can make a curve that comes out and then back in to make the hand. We're gonna draw the hand later. We're not gonna focus too much on it right now. But after drawing that line, we can finish the arm. Okay, and then erase the part of the torso that overlaps the arm, like that. Okay. Then a couple lines right here to show where the breasts connect. And then while we're still up here, I can begin to draw some sleeves for this princess. So, just gonna draw like a little elastic band or whatever this is on a princess dress. And then like a big circle wrapped around the shoulder for the sleeve. And then a couple of lines indicating the tightness on that elastic band. And then whatever lines are inside that circle we can get rid of because a lot of things will be underneath it. And then I'm just gonna draw like a little uh, neckline or collar that kind of connects these two sleeves together. Or at least this one, we haven't drawn the other one in yet, but this is gonna be the top of the dress, like the very top, okay? And then on the other side, we can do the same thing that we did over here and draw the shoulders. Just draw those in, then we can get to drawing the other sleeve on this side. So we can just work around this little guideline here and draw in the arm. like that and we'll focus on the hand later but now that we have the arm in we can draw in the other sleeve so elastic band it's gonna wrap around the shoulder like that and then this part will connect back to the neck And then just erase the shoulder line that we made inside of the circle shape. And then we can add some lines indicating the, uh, the wrinkles or the tightness of this elastic band. And there we go. So now let's go a little lower. But real quick we can finish the torso.
like that okay and then from here let me zoom out a little bit we can draw in the legs so I already have the halfway mark of the legs that's the knee this is the line here that's the knee and then we can just get to it right away so off of this line of the torso that we still can see I'm gonna make a curve that comes away from the body and then comes down and meets this line and then we're gonna finish that leg too okay and if you want you can draw like a little circle here to show the kneecap okay and then for the bottom part of the leg we can make a curve that comes out it makes somewhat like a parenthesis symbol and then the rest of that line will kind of taper coming towards the foot which is this triangle shape down here and then the same thing on this side let me darken those lines okay and on this triangle shape the foot is not ultimately going to be a triangle but the way i'm going to draw this princess is i'm going to have one leg looking like this the other will be kind of stiff and be at a three-quarter view but this one will be somewhat at a front view but the way i'm going to draw this foot is i'm going to work around the triangle and it's going to look like a teardrop shape that's kind of attached to the leg so as you can see this foot here looks like a teardrop shape but she's also going to be wearing some sort of flats so i'm just going to draw in another line that kind of matches this contour of the foot okay and i'm going to add like a little puff on this flat on the shoe like that and then if you want your princess to have high heels then you can draw high heels but since that a front view the high heel will kind of look like this but when we go to draw it at a three-quarter view it's going to look different so i'm not going to draw high heels in this video but um we can get to drawing this other leg here so coming off of the body which is up here i'm going to make a curve that looks like a parenthesis shape like that draw a little oval right here that's the knee and then the back of this leg will be somewhat straight but not exactly straight but straighter than this curve pretty much okay and then this front part of the leg that will be straight too okay and then the back of this leg that's going to curve out that's the calf muscle is what i'm drawing and then it's going to taper as it comes to this triangle. Okay, and then I'm going to draw in the knee real quick. Okay, and then I'm going to make this leg come in a little bit. Okay, and now we can draw in the foot. So, it's going to come, make a sloping line come back around and make a line that comes up like this and then to make the heel all we got to do is work around that line and make it connect like that and then all we got to do is draw in like a little Nike symbol kind of shape kind of line actually to draw the flat or the other shoe then another puff shape on the end erase whatever's behind it and there we go now let's zoom out and see what we got so far yeah so that's looking much like a princess now you guys might hate me for this but we're gonna be drawing a dress which will cover most of the legs but whatever dress design that you want to have on your princess it can stop anywhere along the legs so there are some dresses that stop all the way at the floor there may be some that stop 
right here at the ankles, which is something that I'm gonna draw in this video. But the dress that you can draw on your princess can also stop somewhere along the legs. Like it can stop above the knees, it can stop right here at the calf. Like there's lots of different types of dresses based on where they stop at on your figure. So up to this point in the video, I just gave you a little template for drawing a dress. But the dress that I'm gonna draw, it's gonna stop at the ankles, which is right about here. I'll make a line down here for that. Okay. But again, whatever dress design that you want to add to your princess, you can throw that in however you're going to do it and just get to work. But now it's time for me to do the same. So coming off of this torso, right about here, I'm going to begin to make a, a shape that looks like a top bun of a hamburger. Kind of like the shape of the eyes, but it's going to be much larger for the dress or the bottom part of the dress specifically. And then I'm gonna make another curve that comes around the stopping point, like this. Okay, and then our next curve will come from this part of the torso, and then meet this line over here. Like that. So altogether, this looks like a top bun of a hamburger shape which is what I'm trying to say. So the bottom part of the dress will look like this ultimately, but again, it can stop anywhere along the legs. But in this video, it's gonna stop at the ankles, right about there. So what I'm gonna do now is add a couple of lines indicating the direction of the dress or the direction of the wrinkles, how the wrinkles are gonna go on the dress. And I'm gonna add a couple of puppy lines on the bottom to connect these wrinkles together at the bottom. This probably won't make sense at all, but um, this is what I'm doing, pretty much. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna draw in some of these um, direction lines at the bottom. And then here at the torso, I'm actually going to draw in some wrinkles indicating the tightness on that part of the dress. The arm is covering the rest of it, but I have a couple of them right here. But now we can get rid of the rest of these uh, graphite lines. And then we can also get rid of the legs because they'll be underneath the dress, which we won't see anymore. But if your dress that you're drawing is somewhat transparent, you can leave those legs in there but in my video, I'm just gonna um, take them out. One more line, and then I'm gonna erase the guidelines for the legs too, so that way there's absolutely nothing in this area. And then I can extend these tightness lines up here, so that way we can kinda see some on this side. And then I forgot to erase another line over here. And just like that, we have the bottom of the dress. So let me zoom out one more time so I can show you guys what we have so far. And yeah, this is looking much like a princess now. All that's left to do is to draw in the hands. So in my plan that I have over here again, I'm just going to draw in like a small hand movement. But if you do want to learn how to draw the hands, I got three videos on drawing the hands specifically. Two of them are public on YouTube. The other is exclusive on my Patreon. So links to those videos will be in the description. And there will also be links to my Patreon so you can get to that third how to draw hands video. But in this video, I'm just going to draw in like a small hand movement. That's uh, not worth seeing how to draw, honestly. And then this other one will be attached to the face. And there's already a lot of lines over here. So I don't wanna throw you off in any way. So I'm gonna quickly draw that in. I should've did it when I was doing arms, but yeah, I got that in. And now there's other lines underneath it that I gotta erase, so. I gotta do that really quickly. And then we're pretty much done at this point. 
all that we can do from now is add any other accessories like jewelry or make the princess a little bit more stylized make her look even prettier that you can do like adding whatever else you want to add but with me what i'm gonna add is a couple of uh silver bracelets i don't know what they're called i don't know the specific name for it but these are gonna have some sort of jewels on them just gonna add those and some jewels Just a little uh, accessory that I want to add to this princess. And you can also make adjustments like you just saw me fix up the hair. And actually there's more to this hair in my plan. So I'm just going to extend the hair out so that way it goes to whatever extent. But it'll just be behind the dress. But yeah, it'll be however long. We won't be able to see that because it's behind the dress. And then just, uh, if this seems off, just fix that up. Fix up anything else and you're good to go. So after adding all these accessories to my princess, what I am gonna do is take my ink pen, ink this drawing, give it some color, and then come back to you guys and show you what that looks like. And I'm gonna do that in time lapse so I don't make this video super long. So let's go. Alright, and here's what the drawing looks like after it's finished being colored. And that right there is how you draw a princess. So, if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I